Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you all. I am I'm doing live video to end up our fasting. So I'm live on Facebook. If you can switch over to live, but I'll still leave the prayer line on for those that cannot get on Facebook. But if you can switch over to Facebook live so you can comment. I want to end the fast on live video. So switch over if you can. Hallelujah. God bless all of you. This is the last prayer line, the last um, prayer session for our three days dry fasting. Oh Lord, remember me. Hallelujah. So we're doing thanksgiving and testimonies. We're going to rejoice. We're going to celebrate. We're going to thank God for the strength, for helping us do it, for remembering us. So I'm going to play some songs while you guys share the videos. Invite somebody to watch. We have so many testimonies. So many testimonies so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Hey. Hallelujah. You are the God of signs and wonders. God bless all of you. God bless all of you. Share if you can. Invite somebody if you can. No one can do the things you do. Always on time, you never late. Yes, Lord. Hey. I've got to stand and testify, Lord. Hey. This miracle. Come on, stand up on your feet and say, uh, we, we testify. testify. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We celebrate. Oh, oh, oh. We're on the line. We give you all the praise. Oh, we testify. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We celebrate. Oh, oh. oh. Hallelujah. You need to rejoice. Yay. For everything you've done for us, Lord. For this three days. Whoa. Yay. When no one could, you stood by me. Ah. I am here to testify, Lord. I am here to testify, Lord. How you took away my shame. That's right. You make something out of nothing. You make something out of nothing. I can't deny your love for me. I can't deny your love. For yeah. Love for yes, Lord. I mean a love is not the same. Somebody dance, rejoice. Oh, 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 hey, we did it. We testify, yeah, yeah. we celebrate for all you've done. Hey, we testify yeah, yeah. for everything you've done, Lord. Enjoy yourself. Ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, Lord. Lord, we give you all the praise. Hey, are you guys ready to dance? They're getting to the part I like. Ah. Hey. 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 Dun -dun 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 -dun. Eh, you guys know I like this song, eh? Ah, yeah. Nele, nele, yeah. Ah, ah. Aha. Ah. 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 Enjoy yourself. You have tried. It's not easy. It's not easy, you know. <laughs> hey. Ah, 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 yeah. Hey, so much joy in the house, eh? <laughs> hey, 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 
said you can't have fun. Eh? In the house of God, eh? Come on, everybody. Come on, everybody. Everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Ha ha. Ay, 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 ay. Hey. We give you all the praise. I give you praise. I give you praise. For all you've done. Lord, we give you all the praise. Ay, ay, ay. Hey. I like this song. Eh? I've been playing this song in my head all day. <laughs> Three days of no food. <laughs> it's not easy. <noisy>, oh. <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> Praying four times a day. <laughs> Plus Facebook included. <laughs> that one is not easy. What? Everybody, ay, 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 hey, I give you bricks, hey, oh my God, I give you bricks, oh, 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 for all you've done. I'll do it one more time, one more time, one more time, one more time, one more time. Ay, ay, ay. Ha! Eh? You can dance, you have eaten something. Dance, dance, dance. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hey! I hate. You could do this, but you did it. God helped you and you completed it. I beg, enjoy yourself. Ha! You deserve it. <laughs> oh my God. I give you praise. Nah. Oh, we're going to take a lot of testimonies today. I've been getting so many testimonies. I posted a bunch so far. People are just testifying. So many people got the gift of tongues. People that couldn't speak in tongues for years. People got other spiritual gifts. People got healed, moving object stuff. People got delivered. People got filled with the Holy Ghost. So many things in three days. Can you imagine? Where can you get this? You can't buy this in the store now. Only God can do this. Ha! Only God can do this. Hey! You can't get this in the world, eh? <laughs> hey! My God! Let me turn off fans. I've done so much, I'm sweating now. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. This was so much fun. How many of you had fun? These three days of fasting. If you are still on the prayer line, you can join us on Facebook Live, okay? I'm ending the fast on Facebook live video. But if you cannot join Facebook live, you can stay on the prayer line. That's fine. Wow. God bless all of you. I'm so happy. I'm playing this song. Don't worry. Somebody say, can you please play that song again? I'm playing it. Don't worry. I'll be playing it all day. <laughs> we testify. We celebrate. Hey. Oh. We testify, we celebrate, yeah, oh yes, we testify, yeah, we celebrate, yes Lord, ah, hey, for all you done, no, ha ha, 
Thank you, Jesus. Temi says this is her best fast ever. She's done more than 10 fasting with me. She's been watching me from 2016. She's been in all the fastings that we've done. All. And she said this is her best so far. Hallelujah. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Wow. Somebody say, ah, ah. Miss Amito said, next time, let's do five days, no food. Oh, you you like fasting now? Are you serious? <laughs> I thought you didn't like fasting before. Oh, yeah. Time to dance, everybody. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. We testify for all you've done. We testify. Hey. We celebrate. We testify here for everything you have done. We give you all the praise, Lord. We testify. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody said they want to do seven days. Ah, we've done 11 days or 12 days. We've done so many. But the three days are short and and good, powerful. Powerful, short, powerful. I got a dance fantastic for Hey! Come on! Hey! Yes, yeah, so tomorrow we're gonna play this song. My DJ will play this song tomorrow. Who will dance at the Holy Ghost Encounter in Houston? Just put your dancing shoes on, no? <laughs> we will be dancing. <laughs> hey, 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 yeah, hey, yeah, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ne 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 bo, ne 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 bo, sha. Hey, hey, ah, yeah, yeah. Come on, everybody, everybody. The devil is a bastard. <laughs> hey. Ay, 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 ay. For all you've done for me, Lord. We give you all the praise. Yeah, hey, yeah. Uh -huh. Look at that beat now. Hey, that beat. This is gospel music, oh, please. Don't think I'm playing anything for you. This is gospel music. Just to dance today, just be dancing. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Hey, they don't know what we went through for three days. <laughs> they have no idea. <laughs> it was not easy, but we did it. <laughs> hey. It wasn't easy or too much temptation, but we did it. <laughs> we did it. Some of you, you were tired, but you still called into the prayer line all the time. You were sleepy, but you still called it. It's not easy. Hey. Hey. Thank you, Jesus. Hey. Come on, everybody. Everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. I give you praise. I give you praise. Ah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Can somebody shout hallelujah? Shout hallelujah. Big one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> You can see I'm so happy, right? <laughs> Do you know how many testimonies have come in today? I'm still getting some. One just sent me one now. There are so many testimonies. People are just on fire for God. People are receiving spiritual gifts. People are 
just happy that they were able to fast. Some people did not think they could do it, but they did it. Some people are now loving to read the Bible. They did not know it was so interesting. They did not know. They thought the Bible was a scary book to read. Some people can pray in tongues now before they couldn't pray for hours. Now they can pray longer. Some people are just loving God. The love of God just filled their heart. Hey, they did not know it was so much fun to do the work of God or to, to just serve God. They thought it was boring. People are just happy. People are just joyful. People are just filled with peace of mind. You know how they were troubled before. Now they just, they know that God has answered them. God has heard their prayers. God has remembered them. So that's why you don't understand why we are celebrating. We, we know why we are celebrating. Let's dance to this song one last time, one last time. And then I'll start to take testimonies. Eh? I'll start to take testimonies. Yeah, because I know a bunch of you want to give testimonies. From this fast, you know. Testimonies from the fast. Your encounter that you had. So many of you had even dreams where angels came and did deliverance on you. So many people are sending me those kind of testimonies. They dreamt and somebody came and delivered them from something. <laughs> Victoria says, I enjoy reading the Bible. Hallelujah. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Even Diana Dante sent me a powerful testimony. Diana, you're going to give that lady's testimony on here. Unless if the lady is watching too. I just posted that testimony. I love it. She do, The woman even received the gift of tongues on the 12 a.m. fast. So many people receive the gift of tongues. Or even the ones watching on Facebook audio. <laughs> ah, now they can pray in tongues. Before they couldn't. Now they can't. It is a very, very good gift. <laughs> You will not be thinking of what to say when you pray. The Spirit will just pray for you. <laughs> hey, we testify. Yeah. It was worth it. My God. Do you know I've only had... Let me even ask you guys questions. When we broke the fast, I wasn't even really hungry. I only had like fruits. Papa. Papa is like karika, papaya or something. Um, is it what did mommy mommy what was that again watermelon and something fruits and then chicken my mom had done some chicken drumstick and that's all I've had and I feel full and tomorrow I'm still going to be fasting for the program the 12 hours program that one is going to be fasting all through the day because the program we are going to let me see do I have my wifi on okay good We'll be fasting till the following day. I told you guys I ordered food for you guys. And a bunch of you guys send money towards the food. One sent $500 to help out. One sent $300. That was really helpful. God bless you all. Some other people send money to help for the program. God bless all of you. So I'm, I ordered food for us to eat on Saturday morning. So if you want to fast, then come fine. But if you can't, you can eat something. It's okay. But it will be awesome. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Blessing said, I dreamt you were ministering to so many people. The crowd was so much. Woman of God, bigger you, I pray. God bless you, sweetie. God bless you. Wow. Esther Isaac said, she just ate banana and a little rice. She couldn't eat much. Everybody, tell me what you ate now. Come on. Some of you have eaten two times already. From that 12 o'clock to now. <laughs> ah, some of you have eaten twice. Oh, yes. It's watermelon, papaya, and cantaloupe. Yeah, that's right. That's what I had with chicken. Hey. Ah. Huh? This song, eh, it does something to me. Don't worry. My DJ will play it tomorrow. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody said they received new tongues. Hallelujah. Come on, forget 
Everybody! Yeah. Somebody ate mango. I haven't had mango in a while. Fried plantain and egg. Wow. I haven't had mango in a while. I love mangoes. Look at that. Ah, some of you ate some good food though. Hey! You guys ate some good food. Good food. Hey! <laughs> good food. See, see all those food you are mentioning. I hope that's what you really ate though. Don't go and put food from Google and say that's what you ate. <laughs> you know I'm playing with you. <laughs> some of you go and Google up some nice name of food. I ate some um, chicken pori pork, chicken, you know, chicken agidimbe, chicken, <laughs> and some um, satu chicken and some fries. The, the, the name is there. You know that they didn't eat that thing. <laughs> you know they didn't eat that thing. <laughs> Don't put some food from Google. Say that's what you ate. <laughs> Tell the truth what you ate. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm just so happy. You know me, I'm always happy. I'm having fun. This was so much fun. It wasn't easy. Let me just tell you, it wasn't easy at all. There were times that, especially for me, because I had to go on Facebook again after the prayer line. I went on Facebook three to four or five times during the three days. Doing deliverance, you know. It wasn't easy. Virtue will leave me. And then on the prayer line, sometimes we spend two hours. But God strengthened us. By God's grace, we were able to do this. So now, before I got on the on this video, God was speaking to me. And there's a scripture he gave me for you guys. Now that we finish fasting, there's something that's important that we have to do. John chapter 15 verse 5. John 15 verse 5. Somebody post that scripture, please. King James Version. Thank you, Jesus. Yay! Ah! John 15 verse 5. It says, I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abided in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me ye can do nothing. The part I kept hearing was, without me ye can do nothing. I kept hearing that part before I came on this video. I just kept hearing, without me you can't do anything. Now we have finished doing this three days fast. Oh Lord, remember me. And God says he has heard your prayers. But you have to remain in him. Yes, you have to remain in him. Meaning you have to just let him take over your life. Don't, after doing such a powerful fasting, you go back and start sinning or doing your own thing. No, he says if you don't remain in him, you can't bear fruit. You can't be successful. You can't fulfill your destiny. So don't be saying, oh, well, I have prayed enough. God says he's answered my prayer. Let me go have some fun. Don't do that. I heard it so clearly. And somebody posted it. God bless Mona. God bless whoever is posting. All of you. I love you. It says, I am the vine. Ye are the branches. He that abided in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. When you abide in him and him, he abides in you, you will bring much fruit. You will do well in whatever he has called you to do. You will be successful. You will have to struggle. Because without him, you cannot do anything. He says without him, you will struggle. Without him, you will die. The devil will kill you. You can't do anything. So this is an advice for you. Don't say, well, we just finished a fast. So I can pretty much do everything I want. No, 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 no. Ah, that's right. It says, without me, you can't do anything. You, can, you cannot do anything. So then God was now giving me like an example. So, you know, without Christ, you will be trying, but you can't really reach 
far you can't really you can't really connect you are trying your best but you can't connect so this is what this is the example he gave me okay just pay attention pay attention you know how um you have like a laptop right you have your laptop and you want to do things online you want to browse and go all over the world you're not just trying to type something on the word um word software or whatever you want to actually go to facebook you want to go to google you want to browse but there's no wi-fi connection it's like you, you there's no hotspot there's no wi-fi so you have this laptop but you can't stay connected but you have a laptop are you guys understanding so the wi-fi is jesus yeah that Wi-Fi that you need for that, your laptop, to connect is Jesus. To connect. To connect. You guys get where I'm coming from. So just think about it. You'll be frustrated if you have a laptop. You can't get a Wi-Fi. You can't get hotspots. You can't connect from anybody. So you have this Wi-Fi. But you can't really go online. Yes. Like, you can't go online. You just have a laptop. You don't know what's happening in the world really but the moment you connect you can browse you can browse as far you can go to every wall every you have to remain in him because without him you can't do nothing you need that wi-fi to be able to browse on that laptop without that wi-fi you can't go far you can type on your laptop you can save documents on there, but that's about it. You can't really go far. You can't connect online. That was the example that God gave me. So you need that Wi-Fi to connect with God. That's Jesus. He's the way, the truth, the life. No man can come to the Father except you go through Him. Yeah, He's that Wi-Fi that you need to connect to the Father. The Wi-Fi that you need to believe in, to go to heaven. Otherwise, you ain't going nowhere. The way that God makes me, like I'm just looking at the laptop and it's like, just imagine that there was no Wi-Fi. Just imagine that you're not able to go online. First of all, you can't even connect to the prayer line. Secondly, you can't even go on YouTube to play this song. Thirdly, you can't even go on your Facebook. So you have this laptop, but you're not going far with it. Yeah, so that's you without Jesus. You're not going far. You're going in circles. Or you are stagnant. But the moment you have Jesus, you go far. As in you go far. You produce fruits. Yeah, that's the Wi-Fi. I hope this is sinking. And then he gave me that scripture. I hope it's sinking. Just think about it. So if you don't have Jesus, basically you don't have Wi-Fi. You're limited. You can't do much. You can't really do much. <laughs> so Jesus is the Wi-Fi that you need. Uh -huh. Somebody say no current, no power. That's right. I'm glad you guys get it. When he was saying it, I was like, oh my God, it's so true. It's so true. That the way that God just uses things, little things to just make you understand something. Like it's, it's so easy to understand. You can't browse. You have this laptop. It may be very expensive laptop, but it ain't going nowhere. You understand? Once you have the Wi-Fi, you can go far. You can browse far. So you need Jesus to boost you, to bear fruits. Because without him, you can't do nothing. You think you are doing something, but you're not going far. You are limiting yourself when you don't have Jesus. You can produce much, much more fruits than what you... Remember when we were in the world, we thought we were successful. We thought we were doing well. We were struggling. But the moment we have Jesus in our life, we actually see that we are more than what we used to do before. And this time is not with a lot of struggle. Like he connects us to the right people. He opens doors for us. He favors us. He just makes life easier for us. He even helps us. He gave us the Holy Spirit to help us, to lead us. Mm. My internet has started again. 
we produce way more fruit than when we were in the world. When we were in the world, we thought we were doing okay. Yeah. But when we've now repented, and now Jesus is, is, is taking over us, we now see that, wow. Like, look at me. When I was doing promotion, ah, yeah, yeah, I would do party every weekend, promote, promote, do this, do that, make small money, how much? At the door, I do party, maybe 2,000, 1,000, 3,000 or whatever. Let me tell you, here, as I'm preaching now, today I may get up to two or 3,000 just from people watching deliverance videos from year, last year or people giving offering or people just paying tight. Money just comes anyhow. And I'm just here preaching, you know, doing the work of God. It's not even coming from the video here. It's coming from, I have deliverance videos that people watch till today and they vomit. In fact, let me read one testimony that I was so happy. I actually went to the nail shop to go do my eyebrow. That's why I got this um, testimony. I was just happy while I was reading it. There. I was like, oh my God, this is so powerful. This is so powerful. Let me read it. To tell you how powerful the videos are. I have people watching my deliverance videos from all over the world daily. And they are getting delivered. God is still doing something. Videos that was done one year ago. The power is still there. <laughs> this was Diana that sent it. I don't know if she would like to give the testimony here online. She says, Shalom, woman of God. This is a deliverance offering. She sent $50 deliverance offering. For someone I refer to watch your video. She referred this lady to watch the videos. She's always referring people. She asked me to send you an offering on her behalf. Since they have no PayPal in St. Lucia. Woman of God, your ministry is moving like a river. Everything that is dead in it. Everything that is dead in its path will receive life. The moment they get in contact with you. It's one week I believe since she started watching. And she has so many testimonies. In one week, she started watching the videos. And the woman already has so many testimonies. On the 12 a.m. prayer line, the 12 a.m. prayer line was so powerful. This last one where I did spiritual gifts. I was like in another place. I don't know if you guys know this well. You always know that I'm always on fire. Anyway, you two, you're always on fire. <laughs> it said on the 12 a.m. prayer line this morning, she received the gift of tongues. I'm sure maybe that was when we were doing received spiritual gift her gift was um the gift of tongues she received the gift of tongues from this she's not the only one no. almost 20 or 30 people have sent me testimonies that they received the gift of tongues from the the three days fasting some of them did not even call into the prayer line they were just watching on the audio on facebook but god still gave them the gift he said on the 12 a.m prayer line this morning she received the gift of tongues. Hallelujah. She was trying to type yesterday to share her testimony. I told her I will send you a voice note she sent me this morning. Hope, hope is not too much trouble for you. She is hungry for God by just watching for one week. Just one week. She now has a strong hunger for God. Hung, like she just, she just loves God suddenly. The videos, they just have a way of making you love God. It's like they just put this... This hunger, this thirst for you, it's like, you can't explain it. You can't get enough of it. Ha. Ah, there's just something that he does. <laughs> Before you know, you, can't, you keep watching, watching, watching. Before you know, you start reading Bible. Before you know, you hate sin. You're not fornicating no more. You don't want to sin no more. It just has, it just has, a, it just has a way. I can't even explain it. Is it in one week, she's hungry for God. She said, now this is the part that amazed me so much. Her teenage son was beating her. This woman had a son that the devil was using him to beat her. Imagine a son beating his mother. This is like a curse. Her teenage son was beating her. Now the boy has changed. Blowing her kisses. Now instead of beating her, he's kissing her all over, loving her up. Loving her the way a son is supposed to love his mother. Now listen now. She said, after getting through drinking the water, he fell and started vomiting. She said, he's kissing her after getting deliverance through drinking the water. He fell and started vomiting and was weak. This water that you guys are seeing. Hiya, yeah. This water that you guys are seeing. 
the boy that was beating his mother drank this water. <laughs> he said that he fell and he started vomiting after drinking the water. He became so weak and he doesn't beat the mother no more. Now he just loves his mom. This water that I bless that you guys think is ordinary water. Say God is doing an accelerated work in everyone through your ministry as he did for you, woman of God. I love that testimony. And now there was another testimony that I love. Let me see. This one is so powerful. She said that, good evening, woman of God. I posted all this on the wall. I have a bunch, but I posted a few. She said, good evening, woman of God. I have a testimony. My name is Juliet Mbaye. I just sent an offering of $50 through a friend's PayPal. The ones that don't have PayPal, I told them they can send it through somebody that they know. My testimony, I was coming back from home. I was coming back home from school yesterday, yesterday evening. All of a sudden, the car I was driving started jerking almost to a stop. And I had a voice. I heard a voice inside that said I should turn off the car, the car air conditioner. I did immediately, but it was still doing the same thing. Immediately, I became scared. The other spirit was telling me, you know, you guys say one spirit, two spirit. <laughs> that thing is always making me laugh. He said, the other spirit was telling me, what if you have an accident? I rebuked it by saying, God forbid. Immediately, I heard another voice that told me to sprinkle the blessed water inside the car. She had some of the water in her car. How many of you carry the water everywhere? Some of you have one in your bathroom. Some of you have one in your bedroom. Some of you have one in your kitchen. Some of you put it in your car. Some of you take it to work. Some of you just take it, put one in your purse. He <laughs> said, somebody told me to sprinkle the blessed water inside the car. That the car is the, that the water is the blood. That the water is the blood of Jesus. Where am I? That the water is the blood of Jesus. I have already finished the water. Listen, no. Listen to this part that she said. She said, I have already finished the water. But with faith, I shook the bottle. And little water came out. And I was shouting, blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. As I was sprinkling the water, everything became normal. The car stopped jerking. Everything became normal. She said, you know how you drink water and you only have like a small teeny weeny piece left? She shook it and sprinkled that small one and started shouting blood of Jesus. The car just fixed. <laughs> wow. She said, I thank God for his mercies and miracles. The car in question was serviced a few days ago. I give God all the other. So it's not like the car had not had servicing. She said she just serviced the car a few days ago, so he had no reason to jerk. That was a demon, a spirit that wanted to kill her. She said she had finished water, only small. She shook the bottle and sprayed that small, just a little drop that came out of it. <laughs> I love that testimony. <laughs> hey, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> this thing, they just make you love God so much. Hey, just imagine that you didn't know, like she didn't know God in that situation. Maybe she would have gotten involved in an accident or maybe she would have gotten herself hurt or something. But she, 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 she said something told her to sprinkle though. She's hearing God's voice. Somebody just messaged me now. Let me see. Somebody just, let me read that one. Eh? Somebody just sent hundred dollar, um, hundred dollar offering. Just now, she said, "This is from Andrea Brewster." She said, "Woman of God, I wasn't fasting, meaning she didn't fast with us, but I was just praying with you, meaning she was just joining the prayer line." So I sent this off, this for offering. I can hear the Holy Spirit clearly now. To God be the glory. She said she can now hear clearly from the Holy Spirit. Do you know this is a big deal? She said, I can hear the Holy Spirit clearly now. Hey! Do you know what it means when you can hear clearly? Ha! That means you will not be misled again. You will know. That means she now has that. Even she knows when the Spirit of God is speaking. She can hear. 
That's a big, big, big gain. Big gain. Because the Holy Spirit is always speaking. You will see her accomplishing a lot. She did fast with us. So she just joined us to pray. And she received. She was blessed. So many people. I'm telling you. So many people. There's another testimony. One lady said a black bird has been following her. I think I prophesied that. You know me. I don't really know all these things I say. But it sounded like something I said. She said. Um, she said. She said. I thank Jesus. On the first day, you said that a black bird was following someone. And you said that the spirit will stop following you. She said on the first day. Did you guys remember me saying that? On the first day, like a black bird was following. You know, we did so many things. I don't remember. But she said on the first day, you said that a black bird was following someone. And you said that the spirit will stop following you. For years. She said for years. Not for a day. Not for a week. She said for years. Everywhere I go, I will see and hear these blackbirds flying around me. Oh, there was a lady like that that came to Jacksonville, Florida. She had the same thing. She said birds keep following her. I don't know if you guys saw that on the video when I was praying for her. She said birds follow her everywhere. Blackbirds. I said, are they, did they follow you? She said, well, it's nighttime now. She can't see them. But daytime, everywhere she goes. All these monitoring agents. <laughs> Hallelujah. So a lot of you remember that thing. Okay, good. She said, I will see and hear these birds, big, big black birds flying around me. But since you prayed, I haven't seen it anymore. Hey. Ah. She said, Thanks, I tap into the deliverance. And when you told us if anyone needs to be delivered, and for the last few days and nights, I have been doing, I have been going to the bathroom, doing both, just running through me. And I feel something coming out of me, burning, feeling when I, when I, when I go to the bathroom. Thank you, Jesus, for cleaning me out a lot of the swelling I had in my stomach. It also went down. And I feel at peace. First time in a long time, she feel at peace right now. Bless you, woman of God, for letting me be a part of your fast. To God be the glory. To be a long time coming. I am stronger now. People's lives have changed. You don't even know. And we had so many people. On Facebook, we're having four to 600 people log in. And then on the prayer line, we had almost 200 people. And there are still people that will watch the audio later. Just imagine hundreds of people. Their lives are changing. Thank you, Jesus. I'm so happy. I have some more, but I'm gonna let you guys give your testimony. I wanna take, I wanna take some testimonies from the fasting, because this prayer line is actually to conclude the fasting. So I want to stick with the fasting team. You know, tomorrow is the 12 hours Holy Ghost encounter here in Houston, Texas. I know a lot of you are coming. Um, it's gonna be awesome. You guys are used to this thing. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. You guys watching online, don't worry. We have video coverage ready for you guys. We're starting exactly at 9 or 8.50. I don't want to be late. God told me 12 hours, so I have to do 12 hours. So it will be 9 to 9. If I start 9.30, it will be 9.30 to 9.30. But I don't plan on starting that. It has to be 12 hours on the dots. And that's not including the eating time. Food is after we say the grace. When we finish. Yeah. We must enjoy the 12 hours. <laughs> Alright. Who has a testimony? Let me invite some of you to give us testimony. Yes. Yes. Who received gifts? Gift of tongues. Who received healing? Who received deliverance? Who received miracle money? Who received something? Who just... Who did some... some who saw a vision? <laughs> Florence say mommy come to Australia don't worry one day I will <laughs> I will come one day by God's grace me I don't just go anywhere I have to be led by the spirit to go because as you're seeing me online you're seeing me as I'm here and I'm in Australia with you now are you not watching me from your house <laughs> I'm already there with you right now I am there with you 
Wow. Let's see. Some people say they have testimony. Uju, let me take Uju first. Uju, Uju, you don't have the video sign. Click on. Um, don't worry, all of you will give your testimony today. We testify. Would you click on request to be on the video at the bottom right corner so I can invite you? Click on request to be on the video. Yeah. Wow. Joanne Telemark say Princess Belema. Thank you for thank God. Thank you for meeting you for the first time. To God be the glory. It's only one week for me on this prayer line and fasting. Oh Lord, remember me. I did it. Hallelujah. I have received five spiritual gifts. Speaking in tongues. I love that one, woman of God. Hallelujah. Woman of God, I pray for fresh anointing. Wow, she received five spiritual gifts, including speaking in tongues. <laughs> I told you a lot of people received the speaking in tongues gift. People that came on the prayer line that could not even speak in tongues, they left speaking in tongues. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> wow. Some people say they got the gift of healing. Wow. 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 Some people heard the, the voice of God so clearly. Uju did not click that request to be on video. Okay, let's take the next person. Maybe she doesn't have request to be on the video. Let's take another person that needs testimony. That has testimony, sorry. I was waiting for Uju, but she did not click request to request to um to be on the video. Regina say, woman of God, you promised to come to Dallas. Yes, I will still come, but not right now. I was going to, but something came up. Alright, who else has testimony? Comment, comment. Let me invite you. God bless you. Uju, the video sign is at the bottom right corner. It says request to be on the video. You will see it. But if you don't have it, it's okay. Type your testimony. I'll read it. Yes. If you're still on the prayer line, come on Facebook Live, okay? Hey! Yeah. Yes, yeah, so. I'm waiting for those that have testimony. Let me invite you. Just say yes. Me or I have testimony. Hallelujah. Joy Chukweke. Click on request to be on video. Let me invite you, Joy. Joy Chukweke. Click on request to be on the video. I see a lot of people have testimony. Don't worry, I'll invite all of you. We're just taking testimonies. Somebody say, can I still tap into the fast? Fast is already over. Uju, how are you? I'm okay, woman of God. <laughs> Thank you very Long much. Time. Long time, no see. Long time. I didn't know you were still watching the video. I thought you left already. No, I will not. I did not. <laughs> how are you? I did not. I'm okay. Good so evening. Tell us, what happened to you? Look at how you're looking oh. fresh. <laughs> what happened is that um, for some time now, I don't know what's going on. Uh, I backslide sometimes. Well, when I try to watch your video, I will be watching it sometimes. I will get off. I will not watch it anymore. So, but mm -hmm. my greatest surprise is that I keep on praying. One day you said you, you're going to do deliverance on people. So I say, Jesus, please let her call me because I need deliverance. I was telling my husband, I'm going back from your video. I don't know what is going on. My husband said, maybe it's because of school. I said, no, it's not about school. I know how, even when I see your notification, I love to watch your video, but now I'm going back. He said, no, just take it easy, you know? So, but uh, to make everything short for the fasting, on, on Tuesday, on Monday, at, I'm at work. I try to check my phone. So I find out because you guys are two hours ahead of us. So I'm in California. So when I checked it, I saw that you're online. You are saying something. He said on my video about the fasting against on Tuesday. I just take it off. Then uh, when I go home in the night, I, saw, I, I check my phone again. It's about prayers. Then I take it off. Hi. Early in the morning by 4 a.m., something wake me up. Hmm. Immediately wake me up. I look at it. It's the same prayer. I say, Jesus, I know this prayer is for me. I told my husband, I joined this fasting. 
My husband said, you say, well, I say, yes, I'm joining this fasting this morning because God is a warning, you know? So when I told my husband, he was surprised. That Tuesday, I did it. I was at work, but I did it. Yesterday, I did it. When you said, let's, let us celebrate, I call him off and I say, thank you, Jesus. I can't believe I can stay two days without nothing, just the water you bless. Mm. He was surprised. He said, did you mean you did it? I say, yes, I did it. You know, wow. this morning again, when you are praying uh, by 4 a.m., I joined the prayer. At a sudden, I was weak. I don't know what come over me. I started speaking in tongues, keep on praying so fast. Before you know it, I was sweating, you know. So, but when we are praying again, I hear the voice that was singing in my brain. You shall love the Lord, I make it all. You shall love the Lord. I keep on singing, singing. I was so happy. And when you are praying about the gift, receiving of the gift, I opened my hand. I was at work, but I had to go to a room that is so quiet. When I opened my two hands, I was feeling something hot in my two mm. hands. So I don't know what it is, but I was so, so happy. You know, I keep on singing that music. You shall love the Lord and make it up. From there, I continue speaking in tongues, you know. I was so, so happy. I told myself, I said, Jesus, I cannot even believe I can do that three days with no food, so just you, water. So you haven't done the three days before? No. I just did one yeah. day. Last time you, because... last time we did it, I just did only one day with I you. I joined half. No, no, no. I didn't cheat, sister. I joined no, no, half. No, I mean, like, last time, now, you couldn't do it now, remember? That's what you're saying now. Last yes, time you yes, cheated, yes. this time you didn't cheat. But you know, I didn't see you. I didn't see your comments anymore, so I figured maybe you you stopped watching. So now that you're saying it, I'm like, no wonder, because you used to watch a lot. And yeah, suddenly something started time. making you you just got tired yeah. of my face. No, no, no. no. You know what back. happened? You know what happened is that I invite two people have testimony from what I told them. One of my one of my friends, she called me one day and told me that she has shingles in her legs. Shingles. So when she go to the hospital, they give her a paper to submit at work. I told her, don't submit that paper. My mind told me that if you watch Sister Berema's video, you will be fine. She said, well, I told her to just join the prayer, that you will see, you will feel it. She said that you are praying that day, you say something about the legs. After you pray that day, the next day, everything just dry off. Wow. See, but the doctor confirmed and said that the shringles, but everything dry off. I said, you have to give a testimony. She told me that she had typed the testimony. I said, thank God. And one wow. lady, you remember that day you come to uh, 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 Los Angeles? I came there with my friend. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. from your video, she find a job in the hospital. She's now working in the hospital because I wow. told her about you. Yes. You wow. Know, so, so all these people you are bringing, was... all these people you are bringing are having results. So why did you stop watching now? No, I don't. That's why I said I was in my work one day. One lady, she went and reported me that I'm using earphone. Because whenever you're online, I join you with my earphone. So she reports me. One somebody called me and tell me to stop using my earphone. I said no, it's just for prayers. So I started. I stopped using it. You know. Okay. So I use it when I'm on my breath. I will go to the room. Yes. From there, my mind keep on going. I told my husband something is going on. I don't like it. My husband said, I said no. You know, whenever I see your video, I, I it's a must. I will go to a room. We you know, know you. Don't know. Yes, sir. That's so it's from I'm that so one, happy. gradually, as you were not watching, gradually, the interest remove you. Until now that you're back, how do you feel now? Now that you're back. I feel so much happy. To die, say <laughs> Jesus. I can't even know I can do it. I told my husband, I said, Jesus, even the water, when I drink it, and I forgot to tell you something. Last time we did a prayer, uh, I said, I'm going to join that prayer. Immediately I joined that prayer, I was coming back from work. My spirit, the voice told me, go to my children's room. When I go to their room, I find two black spiders. Mm. You know, I say, thank you, Jesus, for making me. It's so big. I have never seen that size. I say, thank you, Jesus. I have to kill it. You know, I kill it immediately. I, yes, too. Two of them. I, yes, I kill it right away. I say, Jesus, I'm so happy. It's because of this prayer that opened my eyes to see the spider. Then I, I, in the morning, I see another one. My spirit told me, go to the toilet and flush it. Don't put it in the garbage. Then I go to the toilet. I, I was so, I told my husband. But all the spiders are in your house now. 
I don't know. I don't ah. know. See, you I know don't what know. the enemy, the enemy will, sometimes the enemy will take you away from, from where you, like you normally pray, like get connected to God. Like, yes. and then he will start to attack you. Remember what I read? Where Jesus mm -hmm. said we should remain in him and he in us. Without him, yes. we can do nothing. You understand? Yes. So if he takes you away from that, your that thing that connects you to Jesus, and you yourself, you don't really pray much. <laughs> he yes. will start to attack your family, small, small. By the time you know it, yes. he has put so much trouble there. That's why yes. he told that woman to come and report you that you're using EFH. You don't know if the devil doing all those things. Yeah, Before you yeah, know. I noticed, yeah, I noticed that because when we started the fasting, you say something about the uh, black uh, bed. There is one black bed that always, I saw it in the balcony every day, it just fly. I told my husband, this black bed, it means something to me. So when you, when you prayed, I told my, I wake my husband up, I said, since I prayed about that black bed, you will see, we will not see it anymore. Since that day, I haven't seen it flying in that back on i always see it when i sit down and open the windows i see the black bed it will just free away that, moni that monitoring mm -hmm. agent is gone monitoring mm -hmm. spirit hallelujah mm -hmm. so just now now that you came back look at all these good good things happening to you <laughs> yeah, i look at you looking fine i'm sure i'm sure the fast can help you help you shrink small you lose small weight for your face yeah and then yeah i did <laughs> i did sister i did i'm so happy I know, right? I can see it. Hallelujah. Yeah. So God be the glory. More testimonies coming your way. And you'll be able to fast even on your own from now on in the name of Jesus. Your prayer life too is back to where it's supposed to be Amen. in Jesus' name. It is well with you. Amen. God bless you. You Amen. know, I missed you. you. My Uju, my Uju is back. <laughs> I told my prayer. husband, woman of God, I told my husband, I said, your big day is coming on September. I want to go there with my children. So that you can touch my children. You can touch him hmm. and you will know him. He said, How do we how are we gonna do about it? I said, Don't worry. God will surprise me. If God surprise me, he will see. I will come there with my children. But he said, your Okay, let's is the one, your husband is the one that introduced you to the videos, remember? He's the one that introduced me to your video. He is the one. Even when you are online, he's gonna send a message to me and tell me to join. And I have never wow. regret joining you. My life has changed. My, you, have you know, sometimes I will get, sometimes I will try to get upset, but since I joined your prayer, I can never get upset. People might try to hurt me. When I look at them, I try to force myself to get upset, but it's not coming. I will just you see, you try to force yourself. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't force yourself to get upset. To <laughs> That's not good, though. Ah. <laughs> it is good. It's good to serve the Lord. I'm telling you. It's good. You, it, yeah. It's a stress-free life, you know. It's just a yeah, joyful know. life. Don't you see how we're enjoying ourselves here, enjoying ourselves here. No problem, yeah. no wahala. We're just enjoying yeah. ourselves. In I'm that place, to there's too much Jesus. out there, there's too much stress, too much, too much stress, too much frustration, yeah. depression, trouble. But here yeah. there's so much peace and joy. Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah. God bless you. Let's take Amen. somebody else there. Enjoy yourself. We'll Thank see you, you in September. At yes. my birthday, right? Amen. Amen. I will, I will try my best. Wow. See, this lady has been watching me since when? Was it last year? I just noticed that I wasn't seeing her name again. I do have people that go and come. After a while, you don't see them again. And after a while, they come back to the church. So, Because sometimes they go to other places to see if there's, um, if there's, maybe they, maybe there's something better out there. And if God is truly wanting them in that place, he will lead them back. She said that she logged on Facebook. She saw that I announced that we'll be fasting. She closed it. She saw another one. She closed it. 4 a.m. God woke her up, which is our 6 a.m. to join the prayer. So that was a sign. Three times he gave her a sign. Join this thing. And look at how she's feeling now. If this is where you're supposed to be, God will bring you back. No matter how you try to run, God will bring you back. Hallelujah. Who's next? Joy Chukweke. Did you click request to be on the video? Let me invite you, sweetie. Joy Chukweke. Click request to be on the video. Request to be on the video. Click it at the bottom right corner. Anybody else that has testimony, comment. Let me invite. I want to hear as many of your testimonies. Hallelujah. 
Somebody said they have a testimony. Leandra Joseph, click request to be on the video. Let me invite you to. Hallelujah. Okay, Leandra and Joy. God bless you all. Testimony is good. You know, God is actually watching. God is listening. God has done so many things for you guys. And when you testify about it, he's pleased with you because he wants the world to know what he did. That's right. Man did not do this for you. You didn't do it yourself. God did it for you. So tell the whole world about it. Yeah. So they can come closer to God. Joy, are you seeing the invitation? I invited you already. Let me try it again. Um, some of you, I have to do it more than once for it to go through. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Wow. Kate, you are healed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let me see. Okay, Joy, it's not going through. Maybe your network is not strong enough. You may have to restart your phone. All right. Stella Eyime said, me too. I stopped watching and God brought me back. <laughs> it is well. Welcome back. <laughs> Ngozi Anoha say your voice is a household voice. Hallelujah. Betty Morris has a testimony. Click on that request to be on the video. Stella too has a testimony. Maria has a testimony. <laughs> click on that thing too. All of you click, click, click. Will has a testimony. Click on it. T. Sule has a testimony. Wow. He has so many people that have testimonies in this place. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Wow. Joy, I tried you twice. It didn't go. Let's try somebody else. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm. We testify. We celebrate. And another thing I want to tell you, when you're so close, God, so filled with the Holy Spirit, you think and you want to go back to your old way. The Hello? way the devil will try to mess you up. Hmm. You will run back. Hey sweetie, how are you? I'm all right. God bless you. You say I'm you have fine. a testimony. Me too. I'm yeah? the lady that I not talk to you. You're the lady that what? Diana. Diana Dantes. Oh, that's you? Yes. Okay, go ahead. The one I just read your testimony that your son was beating you up before. Is that you? Yes. All yes. right, go ahead. Tell, tell us your testimony. Um, It's about a week ago. I got uh -huh. Diane. I had some issues at home with my son. And then I was trying to get other people, but I didn't get them. And I finally got Diane, and she prayed with me. And stuff, and she told me I should go watch you on Facebook. So then I started watching you, and you blessed the water. So I took the water that you gave the same time I, I did what I had to do, what you asked to do, and I drink the water. From the time I drank the water, I started using my bowels. I had belly ache. My tummy feels different. Wow. My son is also changing he's being a better child and um you have a, a video where you um you have in deliverance and we were home alone yesterday just the two of us and i went to go watch the when i went to watch the video it was just the two of us so i tell him come and watch a video with me so then you said to open your arms while i open it and then Afterwards, you say, put our hands and say the sinner's prayer. We did that. And then I just felt different. I saw he got weak. He was on the floor. He couldn't, like, really stand. But there were certain things that you were saying, and he was, like, ready to vomit it out and stuff. I wanted, I threw up yesterday while I was watching the video. While throwing up, my belly was hurting. I was pooping, and, like, I didn't want to go. I said, I'm not leaving the bathroom. I'm ready to poop on me. 
I am not going. I cannot leave the video because I felt the cramp at the same time. It's coming. I say, no, I'm going to pay. I'm going to poop here. I'm going to do everything here and I'm not leaving the video. Mother of God, I'm feeling so different. Wait, wait. You poop on the floor? I, on me, while I was watching the video because my belly was hurting and I was vomiting at the same time. I didn't want to leave the video because it was just so awesome. God is so good. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So it was so awesome. You vomited, you poo poo, everything on the floor. Yes. Hey, this is serious. So. <laughs> you could have taken your phone to the toilet now. <laughs> yes, I, I definitely, you know, the devil have a, a way of working. So my battery has given me some trouble. Oh, so you it's have like a charge time battery. I, Yes, I charge it, but phone have an issue. So every time it going off. And last night when I was listening to you, I did the, I only did two days fasting with you. Okay. And um, yes, so then I was watching last night and it started going off. So I, you know, I wanted to watch a video so bad that I started crying. And then I said, Lord, I said, the devil, you are lying. I have to get to that video tonight. I'm not missing out nothing. And then wow. I got this, this, wait, which of the deliverance videos is this the 39 minutes one or the one hour one? You the remember? one when you were praying, I think midnight last night. Uh, okay, I don't know. I have so many videos, but it must be very powerful. That's it's like one. it's like That's it's like it's, it's like things were coming out of you from everywhere. Vomit, poop, pee, everywhere. Okay. Wow. You must have had so many so demons in you. <laughs> so I finally got to um do the one the fasting last night and I said I'm not going until until you finish. And everybody was sleeping, so I stayed up. And then when you were praying and you gave the nine the stuff what you want God to do for you. Yeah, nine spiritual I gifts. Asked God, yes. I asked God what I wanted. I received one of it, which is speaking in tongues. I don't know what I was saying, but I know I was speaking in tongues. Wow. Because so one wait. of my... Wait, wait. So the moment you receive it, you, your tongue started rolling. You just started speaking something. Yes, I started feeling tingly. Like it's all this morning, is still tingly, like it's heavy. I started feeling some funny, like it's freaking, freaking, freaking inside of my mouth. And you started speaking... That's how I started... Yes. The moment you received, it just happened. This is amazing. <laughs> yes, it was so awesome. Wow. And you didn't even do the three days. You only did two days fast. Yes. Wow. And then, after your cleansing, after your deliverance, after the poop, the vomit, the poop, the next thing, boom, you got the gift of tongues. God is just fixing things. Quick, quick, quick. Yes. Doing a quick work in you. Yeah, and then you um, said some of y'all will doze off, some of y'all on the floor right now. But I was watching that I didn't want to sleep, but for some reason I dozed off a little bit. But I dozed off and I was dreaming. I dreamt like I was coming to my home. And then when I was coming to my home, all around me was surrounded with horses. And in the dream, I just held my hands and I opened and I say, Holy Ghost, fire. And like fire came out of my hands and all the things just disappeared. Ah. And something came up from the something came up from the sky and it just shoot into my eyes. And one electrical light. It just shoot through my eyes. And I just jumped from the sleep. And that's how I got you on again. I started, I continue watching the rest of the video. Wow. So now you're so filled with the Holy Ghost, you are cleansed. You love God. You're on fire for God. Hallelujah. And, and she said that your son that was acting a certain way is now loving you up. Real, is, is showing you so much love now. Yes. Yeah. A lot Hallelujah. better compared to the way it was. Hallelujah. I'm so, and, you, and you say you've only been watching for one week, right? Yes. Wow. And your life has changed. Yes. What advice do you have for people that are watching for the first time today? Well, I think it has a lot to do with your faith. Then you need to trust God. If you don't believe it, it will not work for you. Hallelujah. So I need them to, yeah, my advice to them is to have faith and trust in God and it will work. If you hear what God you, does. When you watch the video, have faith, trust, believe, and it will work. It is well with you. Your deliverance is permanent. 
and God will do more, more things in your life, open more doors for you, and he will use you mightily in the name of Jesus. Amen. It is well with you. My son. My son. Come. No. Come if she wants to see you, Christian. Come, my boy, come. He don't want to come and see you. <laughs> okay, don't worry, leave him. He's shy. Anyways, no problem. God bless you. More testimonies coming your way, okay? It is well with you. God bless you. Bye-bye. Wow. So the testimony I was reading, and that's the woman that had the testimony. It's amazing how when, when we say you're going to respond like you want to receive, and the moment we pray for you to receive, boom, your tongue starts to roll. God is so quick. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How can you explain that? <laughs> Receive it. And you just start speaking in tongues. How can you explain that? No man can do that. <laughs> hey. Hallelujah. All right. Let's take the next person that has testimony. Will said he had a quick one. Let's hear his testimony. I'm taking all of your testimony. Esther, Isaac says, yeah. Esther, you know you were talking yesterday and your phone off. See, Will has good internet. <laughs> yeah, how you doing with God bless you today. I'm yeah, good. I just want to... I just want to give God all the glory. Um, this is my second time doing a dry fasting, and it's been a good experience. I remember when I recently first got born again, um, me and my cousin... My older cousin was talking about um, doing a fast and a dry fast from six to six. It was my first time. And I'm telling you, the last day, the last day, the devil tempted me so badly. I was so hungry. He said, pray over candy. Pray over candy. And I'm telling you, I was about to pray. And then I heard, no, just complete it. So I said, all right, I completed it. Now um, I'm doing a three days dry fasting. And I had a dream that I was begging my mom to eat food. <laughs> mm. I was mm. begging my mom to eat food. <laughs> I was begging my mom to eat food. And she was like, okay, just give it to him. And I ate it. And then I woke up. And I also had another dream. It was very strange. So I was in like, I was in like a school area. And I seen you and I seen Pastor Isaac. But then you guys disappeared out of nowhere. And I was walking around. And I seen a bunch of candy and food laying around. And mm. I'm telling you. Yeah, and I was mm. eating it. I was eating it. So, you ate candy. And then, you this yeah. Thing. Yes, like in my sweets. dream. Yeah, like sweets in my dream. And. And what does that mean? I don't know. I really don't know. And <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I, feel I don't know, but the devil is a liar, yeah. In, in recently, real life, like, you like candy a lot. Yeah, I like junk food. <laughs> you like, oh, okay. So yeah. They tempted you with junk food. Yeah. It is well. And so then I went to this classroom, and then I was led to pray for some woman. And I did this. I said, I did this on her, like on her chest. And then she started manifesting. She started manifesting. But for some reason, I couldn't complete the deliverance. But I know God was talking, was talking about me, you know, because I asked, I, I prayed to God and I said, God, um, I was talking. I, I could feel the presence. You know, when you're talking to God, you can just feel his presence. You don't need to speak in tongues. You can just feel his presence. So I talked mm -hmm. to God and I was praying, talking to him, just a normal conversation. I said, God, before I knew it, I started feeling chills on my back and I said, thank you, Lord. So I just said, God. And I this dream. This dream where you were praying for somebody, what day did you have this one? Hmm? The one where you were praying for somebody. The one where you laid hands on someone and she was manifesting. When did you have this one? Last night. Was it after I said God should reveal what your calling is to you? Yeah. So God showed yeah, you what you Yeah, like I did this like like that, like in this and then on her chest area. And then she like her. She started manifesting, but so, I couldn't so God, complete the deliverance. God showed you that you're going to be. It, it showed you that you're going to be doing a lot of stuff like that. Yeah. Wow. 
because I remember I prayed for you guys that God should reveal something to you when you sleep. What should yeah. be doing? Uh, yeah, do you, you remember know what? That, that prayer? No, I, yeah, like I remembered it, but like it just I didn't really think about it as much. I but that's 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 much. showing you that's showing you through a little bit a glance of what you'll be doing. Yeah. But no. but, but but what it means though is you touch that you'll be doing stuff like that, but right now you are not ready. Yeah, that's I'm not ready. That's why that's why I feel that's why I c I didn't complete the deliverance. Yes, but that's it. what you will be doing. I made sure now. Wow, yeah. that's good. That means you'll be a deliverance pastor soon. Hopefully, my God. <laughs> you, my God I think you'll well. be a deliverance pastor soon. Um, you'll be cutting the head. Angel, cut off yeah. that head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so how do you feel? How do you feel um, after doing the three days, Brian? I feel, I feel really good. You know, I feel like God is, is pleased with me because it's not me. Before I was born again, if someone told me to do this, I, I really give him a, a dirty look. I'm not going to get um, force myself to be hungry for three days. But I really realized that I have a love for God and we have such a good relationship. And it's been four months. Yesterday was my deliverance day when you delivered me in New York. Oh, at wow. the hotel. Yeah. Four months already? Yeah, four months. Wow. Four and then months. the one in Miami, the one in Miami was the yeah. one that the angels cut the head off for you. Yeah. That one was... Only God yeah. knows what would have happened in that one. I think you were going to be an aggressive one that day. Yeah. You guys but remember? glory to God. <laughs> Did you watch that video? <laughs> and you know what someone around. said? And you know, I was what? watching the comments. I was watching the comments and someone said that I was speaking in Italian tongues. Wow. And the deliverance was something is. like... <laughs> yeah. Wow. So I'm like, wow. Yeah. Wow. Hallelujah. It is well with you. I'm so proud of you. Just four months mm -hmm. and I can see so much transformation. Mm -hmm. Imagine mm -hmm. what will happen one year from now. Yeah, just imagine. Just imagine. Yeah, just Make imagine. Sure you Glory stay, to God. He said, remain in him and it will remain in you. Remain of in course. him and it will remain in you. And yeah. you will produce fruit. And you know, Way you said a word to me. You said a word to me. You said that God will show me things that need to be seen. So... I had a, it wasn't even a dream, it was a vision. And I've seen Judgment Day. I think that was my first vision. Yeah, it was my first vision. Did you say it or you posted mm -hmm. it somewhere? Yeah, I posted wow, it. I just wrote it. It was like everyone was a spirit. Everyone came in a spirit. It, it just happened so fast, but it was so much, it had so much detail. I seen two portals. One was like behind. And then one was bottom. Of course, I had to I had to understand that I knew one was the one in heaven was behind, and I knew the one down was hell. And then I saw someone's spirit come right in front of God. And it was like he was it was red, like fire. Like fire. And before I knew it, it was like as if his his whole life was coming before him and I just woke up. Hmm. So what do you th what do you think it means? How do you interpret that? He's trying to tell me that God God is coming. He's coming. Jesus is coming soon. There's no there's That's no right. time to joke around. There's no time to joke around. You serious? He either all in or you all out. And I'm all in. You you have to be all in. That's right. It's not one foot one foot out. Uh huh. And when you see it's those not. kind of dreams. You cannot afford to go back to your old ways because God Never. is warning you. That's yes. right. So every time you want to backslide, you remember that dream. You're like, mm -mm. yes. I and you know, and you know what I noticed that God is so amazing. You know, because some people like when I you see it on YouTube, the people they'll be like terrified. But when I woke up, I wasn't scared. I wasn't scared. So I'm like, you know, I know I'm in the right place with God, and I'm just gonna keep getting deeper and deeper and deeper. That's all. Hallelujah. It is well with mm -hmm. you. More right. testimonies, more revelation, more visions in Jesus' name. And God will keep preparing you for what he has for you. And Amen. he will use you mightily in the name of Jesus. Amen. Keep the fire Amen. burning. Hallelujah. <laughs> God bless Thank you. you. Jesus. I God bless you too. The young boy, I don't know, I think he's 17 or 18. 
He's on fire for God. After one powerful deliverance, he's been holding on tight to Jesus. His eyes are opening. God is showing him things. See, if you make yourself available to, for, for God to use you, he will use you. Hallelujah. Who's next? Who's next? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Let me try joy again. Who's next? Comment me. Wait, let's see. If you have a testimony, comment me and then click on um, request to be on live video at the bottom right corner. Yeah. It's joy. It's Good evening, work. woman of God. God bless you, sweetie. God bless you, ma. Yeah, I, I said, I'm let me so try excited. you one more time. And it works. Oh, thank you so much. So, so it is well with you. What, you say you thank have a testimony. You. I do. My testimony is, um, I'm an intercessor. I pray and um, God reveals things to me. I see things in the dream before they come to pass. But since I had my daughter three years ago, I can't pray like I used to pray. Even when I wake up, I can't remember my dreams no more. But having mm. been in contact with you, I just started watching your video two weeks ago, or like three weeks last month. Yeah, after my wow. birthday. I don't know who sent wow. it to me. I just said, let me go through it. But my husband was like, everything you have to taste all spirits because <laughs> you don't know who is who but going through your teachings and all the things you've been saying it just resonates with my spirit and it just puts me back on my feet i mean mm -hmm. i haven't fasted like this i used to fast a lot i used to pray a lot but for three years i'm telling you i haven't done this type of fast anymore so i'm so mm -hmm. excited in my spirit and the Lord really spoke to me saying he's interested in my voice, hearing me again, coming back to him than all what I'm going through. Because since I even had my daughter, I haven't seen my period back. You know, a lot of medical conditions, but that was not moving me. So hearing God saying he's interested in me back, my relationship with him back, he just gave me so much joy. I'm so, in, so much happy. Being connected. Wow. So, God so, wait, 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 wait. so when did you have your daughter? I had my daughter three years ago. She's three and that now. Was when you, around three years ago was when you stopped being on fire yes. for God. That was when I stopped. Because when I was pregnant for her, I had a dream that someone injected me in the dream. And the person mm -hmm. said, I want to give you this injection so that you can stop vomiting. And that's just it. Yeah, that's evil dream. They made they made you weak. That injection is to weaken you spiritually. Yes. Yeah. You will not be able to pray. You will not be have. You will not even be interested in doing anything. Yes. One day they tried to inject me. I think one of those days I traveled for one of my programs. I was sleeping, and suddenly God woke me up, and then I saw a face of a man on the wall, and it looked like somebody I know. And then I saw a, an injection, a syringe filled with blue substance to the left side of my bed. And then my finger, this right hand finger, I saw like they were trying to put the blue in my finger. I saw it, like I saw it. Yeah. I saw it by my bed when I woke up. Cause God woke me up when they were about to start. Maybe they left it and ran away. Angels chased them. And then okay. I saw the syringe was full. They were going to put it in me, but when I woke up and I opened my eye again, it disappeared. I started to yeah. pray. And I, what if God did not wake me up? Well, he still will not do anything to me, but that's how they do. When they do that, yeah. you will not be able to read your Bible. You will not be able to pray. At all, you will not... at, all at all. Yes. All that stuff. And I, then dream, period... I can't even remember my dreams anymore. And then your period, you say for three years, you haven't seen it. Yes, for three years, I haven't seen my period. Wow. I want to pray for you. Put your hand on your forehead. That injection will come out of you today. Amen. Just relax. Take a, take a deep breath. Relax. Say, Jesus, deliver me. Say it seven times slowly. 
Jesus, deliver me. 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 Holy Ghost, fire all over your body. Fire from your head to your toe. Fire on your belly, in your stomach. Fire. 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 Angels, keep pouring fire. Hundred buckets of fire. Make her body so hot. Melt away every evil substance in that body. Every blue substance, green substance. Every evil injection. Melt them away. Evil deposit. Melt away. Fire. Fire. You demon that came into our life to slow everything down. Out of her. In the name of Jesus. Fire. More fire. Now pack your things and go. Take the sickness. Everything that you put in her. Take it and go. In the name of Jesus. More fire. Pour more fire. Even on your chest, fire. Your back, fire. Thank you, Jesus. Now I rinse you with the blood of Jesus. I rinse you with the blood of Jesus. I soak you in the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Your period will flow. By tonight, you will see your period. In the name of Jesus. Your prayer life will be back the way, even more than the way it was before. You will be on fire for God. Your eyes will open. You will remember your dreams. Now angels cut off the head of every demon there. On the count of three. One, two, three. Cut it off. Out! In the name of Jesus. You are free. As I have said it, so shall it be. Your destiny is restored. Amen. And you will see your Thank period. You. you are healed. Amen. Amen. God Thank you, woman of God. God bless Keep you. Keep the fire burning. Amen. Amen. I'm so Amen. grateful to God for connecting to you. More fire Amen. on you. God bless you. Amen. Amen. God bless you, sweetie. Thank you. Amen. You see, evil in shock. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many of you have they injected in your dream before? I want to pray for those people. Whenever I have a testimony, seeing somebody give you an injection before in your dream and after that injection things just went sour type me if you are one of those people type me I'm, i want to pray for that case now if you've seen they've injected you or they they gave you something to drink or they put something in your body in the dream just type me me let me pray for you a lot of times this is what they do before you know you'll be so weak spiritually you won't have the zeal to even read your Bible. You will not even be interested in going to church. You won't be interested in anything God. They just kill that fire. That's what they do. Holy Ghost fire. Uh -huh. So a lot of people, me mom and I woke up and I saw a blue syringe full beside my bed. And my finger, I'm like, what is that? What you guys trying to do to me? Thank you, Jesus. Now, stand up if you are one of those people. If you are one of those people, even if you are not sure, just stand up anyway. Stand up anyway. Put your hand on your forehead. Say, Jesus, deliver me seven times slowly. Make sure you don't say it too fast. Slowly, say, Jesus, deliver me, and I'll pray for you. Everyone that has been injected or something has been put in you when you were sleeping, or whatever. Even the ones that they cut your head off before in the dream. They cut your hair or something. They are trying to take your glory. They cut your hair off in the dream. Stand up. Just stand up. Stand up. Hallelujah. Stand up. Stand up. Put your hand on your head. Your right hand on your head. Say, Jesus, deliver me. Say it seven times. Slowly. The power of God is going to come. All over you. Holy Ghost fire all over their body. Wherever you are. Fire. Fire. 
fire. Angels pour buckets of fire. Fire to melt away every evil deposit. Every evil injection. Fire on your body. The one that they cut their hair. Fire on that head. The one that they put things in their body. Tattoo or whatever in the dream. Fire, fire, fire. Let this fire melt away everything the devil has put in them. Fire, 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 fire. You demon responsible for this. Out of them in the name of Jesus. Pack your things and go. Come out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Whatever they put in you. Cough it out. Vomit it out. Sneeze it out. Burp it out. Pee it out. Poop it out. Out of their system. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Now that hair, I command it to grow back. Physically and spiritually. In the name of Jesus. Begin to grow. Begin to grow. Let there be total cleansing in your body right now. Let there be total cleansing right now. Total cleansing. I say vomit everything they put in you. Out in the name of Jesus. Begin to vomit it wherever you are. Vomit everything. Every blue substance. Black, blue, green, whatever color. Out of your system in the name of Jesus. More fire. More fire. More fire. Angels, get that sword. Cut off the head of these demons. At the count of three. One, two, three. Chop off all the heads. Out in the name of Jesus. Be free. In the name of Jesus. Your destiny is restored. You will be on fire for God again in the name of Jesus. Your hair is growing back in the name of Jesus. Whatever they stole from you is coming back to you in the name of Jesus. You are free in the name of Jesus. Oh my God. A lot of you will see yourself vomiting, pooping, spitting, coughing. Ha! Thank you, Jesus. You are free. You are free. You are free. When Jesus says you are free, so shall it be. You are free indeed. Hallelujah. My God. See? The devil did not know we're going to do this, right? You are free. You know you are free. Some of you, you will just feel some. You will feel something left you. That's what they do when you sleep. Especially you guys that sleep too deep. Even when God is waking you, don't wake up. They'll put the injection. Do everything to you. Finish. Don't know sometimes when the spirit of God wakes you up, he's trying to interrupt something that the devil was trying to do. You wake up, you don't know why you woke up. They were about to do something. Some nights, you just keep waking up a lot at night. Like four or five times in the night, you're waking up. They were doing something or trying to. The Spirit of God woke you up. It interrupted them. They probably tried again. He woke you up. Before you know, you start praying. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, who's next? Or tell us how you feel after the prayers. Who's next? Who has testimony? What happened? Ah, <laughs> wow, thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah! Hallelujah. Who's next? Who has testimony? Who has testimony? Let's take the next person. Wow, the devil is a bastard, he's a loser. Wow, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All right, next person that has a um, testimony, comment and request, click on um, request to be on video so I can invite you. If you're still on the prayer line, switch over to Facebook unless you're not able to get on Facebook. That's why I'm doing this right now. Let me see. We have two hours, 20 something minutes. I'm getting tired already. I'll sleep early today so I can get ready for my program tomorrow. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Wow, look at all that. See what happened. Ha, ha, ha. That's right. They pack their things and they go. That's right. That's right. I'm waiting for those that have testimonial. Comment. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Um, 
if you have testimony type i have testimony i don't know which one you guys are doing so i know who to invite thank you jesus oh hallelujah oh hallelujah thank you jesus thank you for setting your children free thank you jesus oh Wow, Mirabel says she was coughing, burping, spitting. Wow, that's a lot. Hey, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Ha, ha, ha. Hey, yeah, 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 Pamela, your son will not fight you again. He will begin to love you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, Mima says she has a testimony, right? Agra Bay, Baby Gray. Fatima has a testimony. Let's make sure you click on that thing that says request to be on the video. Mima, how are you? Hello. <laughs> Hi. God bless you. <laughs> you say you have a testimony. Go ahead. <laughs> yes. Oh, this God, super awesome, super fast fit. I was asking for a miracle yesterday, and I got it. You don't know what happened. It's not about my new miracle, woman of God. It's about motorcycle miracle. <laughs> it's about what? <laughs> motorcycle miracle. Hey. 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 Yesterday, yesterday morning, 2.30 a.m., uh, someone was trying to steal my motorcycle. Uh, it was, it is a new motorcycle. I just bought it last year. So he already opened the gate. And uh, it, usually the gate was noisy, but it was not so noisy. So the housekeeper did not really hear any sound when the gate was opened. And after that, he took the motorcycle out. But he couldn't uh, start the motorcycle to to run it away. I don't know why. Suddenly, the motorcycle just didn't want to cooperate with the thief. <laughs> and after that, he just left the motorcycle out of the gate. And he ran away with his motorcycle, which uh, uh, in another block, uh, staying with his friend. It was only three hours after I was praying with you for the fasting at uh, at 12. I, when you said that, please ask God for any uh, gift, for any blessing. And I was like, I want to ask miracle and protection, God. And you have to give me. And God is protecting me and everyone in the house. Because usually in my city, if there is a, a thief or robbery like that, they will not only take the motorcycle, but they will kill everyone in the house. Really? Yeah. Not, not only with the knife, sometimes with gun wow. or with a small samurai. <laughs> is it that bad over there? But according to the people around, because I only stay here for 13 months, yeah, it's this bad here. Wow. So that time he couldn't uh, switch on the the power and the motorcycle did not want to cooperate. And he it, it was a big motorcycle and he just left it. Wow. He just left the motorcycle in front of my gate and he ran away with his own motorcycle. So God protected you. An angel probably made that thing not work. And, it's, and it even come into the house yes. to, to rob you guys or hurt you. He just left and ran away. Nope, nope. Everyone is safe. Not even a scratch. Hallelujah. Because of that fasting. Because of that, what you asked us to request to, to God. Hallelujah. It is well. And then I think you had another testimony about crocodile eating something, something. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know, a little embarrassed, but okay, I'm telling you. About a week ago, I was going with my niece and the housekeeper of this apartment to the zoo. 
that was my second time going to the zoo. So I brought this bottle and I still have it. This is the water you bless. And I always have one spare. So when I was going to the zoo with them, I brought this water. And we went to so many places. And that time, the only place that we haven't visited yet was the snake and the crocodile. <laughs> and I didn't want to go to the snake because I was like, no, not the snake. I didn't feel comfortable. So you, you, went to the, my niece you went to the zoo and you went to see snakes and crocodile. And some other animals. Okay. But snakes and, and, and crocodiles, uh, the two left that I didn't want to go, but I, because they insisted and, okay, okay, okay. When I was at the snakes, I was like, Jesus, no. My feeling is, my feeling was like, please don't go there. Please don't go there. Because the snakes, they were really big. And even there was someone, a man, sitting, Jesus name. Please cover the connection. Okay. And then someone was sitting and having the snake around his body. And I was like, Jesus, no, I don't want to get close to that man. Please. And then you know what happened? When I was going to that snake area, I opened the bottle like this. I was like, if by the blood of Jesus, no snake spirit will come closer to me. Never, never. And also that crocodile. <laughs> so you went to the zoo and you took your anointed water with you. You said no snake spirit, no yeah. crocodile spirit. Okay, go ahead. And then after that, we went back home. And the night when I went to sleep, I had that dream. So wait, wait. After uh, after you left the zoo, you went home and you started having dream of crocodile, crocodile and snake. Wow, the two things you went that you did not want to see, you saw them appear in your dream. Hmm. The two animals she didn't want to see in the Jesus, please cover this internet connection. What? The two animals you refused to see once you went to sleep, Jesus, they came to your dream. Go ahead. We can hear you. Okay. Okay. And then after that, this the, it was first the crocodile. It came to me. I was like, what are you doing? Because I remember, because I remember that time, uh, I was, when I was in, at the zoo, I was throwing a carrot to the crocodile and it hit the head of the crocodile. Wait, someone is knocking. I need to tell. Yeah, nanti ya. Tante lagi video ya, nanti ya. And then uh, the snake came. Uh, the, the crocodile. I was hitting the crocodile with a carrot, and it hit to this one, to to its of uh, uh, head. But in the dream, he came to me. The same crocodile, the same big crocodile, came to me first to my feet and going to my V part my private part and i was like what are you doing out out i was using yours your your way but it didn't work out it came to my private part and it bite my private part you saw in the zoo that you hit something on his head it came to attack you in your dream and it beat your your, your yeah. private parts hmm. that same night yeah. you went to sleep okay go ahead and then that was also the snake. I was like, no, out in the name of Jesus, out, out. After so many out. And then uh, I woke up and I was like, this is not right, Jesus. This is not right. And then I rushed, go to my, my this table and I drank your water. And then I said, in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, whatever bad dreams that trying to uh, 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 attack me in my dream, uh, be canceled away in the name of Jesus. Amen. And after that, I keep praying, and then it was the fast, the fasting prayer. But you said and after I was like, you woke uh, up from that dream, you were feeling funny there. When you woke up from the dream, I was like sm so smelly. Okay, so the moment and hold on, hold on, there's something to learn here. So you went to a zoo, and your spirit told you, "Don't go see the snakes and the crocodile." But because people told you to follow them, people you went to, you follow them. But there was something telling you, "Don't yeah. go to those two. right? 
Uh-uh, uh-uh. You will not feel comfortable, yeah. but you went because you came with some people. Uh-uh. So you went uh-uh. to sleep, and those two things appeared, and one bit your private part. Yes. And the moment you woke up, your private yeah. part started smell and itch, or what? What happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. After uh, after the crocodile bite my private part, I was like, every time you know, scratching, like, oh, this is so itchy, so itchy. So basically, and- what happened in your dream affected you in real life. Yeah. For like a few days before I prayed on the video. Uh-huh. Go ahead. And then I was like, ah, this is very itchy, very smelly. I cannot stand with this. So every time I have to go to the restroom and clean it. But again, not not, not, not so long after I cleaned it, but became uh, again smell. It's always like that. And then, no, no, this is not right. But then uh, I was like, please just drink the water. Just drink the water. Just drink the water. It's just something like that. And then I drink. I drank the water. And then when you bless uh, a water uh, in the fasting prayer, I did that and I drank it. And I just like in the name of Jesus, no more of that smell and itchy. And then bam, it's gone. Even until now, it's not anymore itchy and it's not anymore smell. I think there was a day I was praying on the on the video, and I and you said you started feeling heat. There. You started feeling heat in the private area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when you were praying uh, to someone, I I had that to like, uh, in the name of Jesus, amen. And then I feel like, ah, very, very hot, very, but it's it's not, how, how to explain this? It's not any more itchy. It's not any more uh, smelly, like <laughs> that, that. It was just, no more. it was just like fire there. There was fire. Yes, like fire, like fire. Fire just. And I say snake and crocodile. And mm-hmm. after the fire, this everything stopped. Yes, yes, woman of God, everything stopped. So now you know that whenever you go somewhere and your spirit is not letting you go there, you you have to listen to the spirit and don't go because maybe there's something they used to initiate people from. You know what I mean. You, the other animals you were okay going to see, but this too you you didn't want to. It, yeah, right. And the moment you were, and even I was op- the moment you were, and even I opened the bottle like this in the zoo when I was at the snakes and crocodiles. I was like, in the name of Jesus. The crocodile, the crocodile, that time I the crocodile was mad at you because you hit him with something on the head. I guess so. So he came and he beat you for that. I guess so. He wanted to mess you up. <laughs> you guys should be careful when you go to these things. If you are not feeling good about it, don't do it. what if you didn't have all these videos where we do deliverance and prayer you would have had that issue for some time it changed do you know you would not even even you know what the, even you know what the smell i was like afraid to go to places because i'm afraid people will like wait, wait, uh, it was, it was that bad like, the smell was so bad you couldn't go out i don't know if that was really bad or not but i me myself i didn't feel comfortable to go out wow. i wasn't like i'm afraid that people will do like this to me you know wow it's good that you're saying this so people can hear because sometimes when people have a particular kind of smell they are clean but they have that smell they don't understand that there's something that needs to be prayed you know they have to be prayed for but yours is so significant that's why i'm, I'm wanted you to say it because you went to the zoo. There were so many animals, but these two anim- these two, your spirit told you, don't see these two. God said, don't go there. You went there because of peer pressure, because people told you, we're all going there, go. You would have waited for them, but now you know. If you don't feel comfortable about something, don't do it. I'm not saying zoo yes. is bad. Zoo is not bad. But there are some things zoo that maybe bad. the people that put it there are using it to initiate people or using it to afflict people. True. Because why would those two that God did not true. want you to go to appear in your dream? You know what I mean? Excuse me? I say, why would it be that those particular two are the only ones that appeared in your dream? The, the same night mm-hmm. you went there. <laughs> but you are free. True. It was you are free. the night of the same day. So after drinking the water, after the prayer from the video, you started feeling fire there and then it was gone. That's it. Yes. Yes. And no more smell. No more itchy. And I have another good news for you, women of God. Mm-hmm. This is my husband. 
not only watching you from his own device. This morning, you want to know what he said to me? He was telling me, because it's now on, uh, still 8 o'clock a.m. in the morning, so that was like 5.30, he woke up and he told me, Mom, don't forget that your fasting is only two days to your birthday. So you should give something to women of God as a thankful gift. Wow. He was telling me that. Wow. Can you imagine that? So now he loves me so much. <laughs> he loves you so much. It's just one day I hope that I can have this video live and he could say something to you one day, one day. Wow. So your husband, that one time you messaged me, say he doesn't want you watching my videos anymore. Now he watches and yeah, even tells true. you to send me a gift on your birthday. Wow. True. Hallelujah. True. And not just that. This is the witness of everything, woman of God. This cell phone, can you see? It's so uh, game over. I threw this out like uh, 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 May, end of May. Just because he didn't let me to watch you. And then I, I, I threw this down, but it didn't broke. After 34 times, it broke to pieces. And then I said, if you don't let me to watch this woman of God no more, I will never talk to you. And then he bought me this device that I am not talking to you. And this device is even much better. And I kept praying to God that, huh, Jesus, please let my husband to love this woman of God one day, one day, one day, one day. And then he started to, you know, like Hallelujah. right now. Hallelujah. I hope, I hope he drinks the water too. Oh, he, he, he does. He does. Every time you bless water and I have something like this, I always let him to drink half of my everything. <laughs> hallelujah i'm so happy for you i'm proud of you you are changing thank you you're, you're growing and you are still reporting those yes, words, those scammers that are using my name to scam people <laughs> i never stop i don't want to so stop. every day you wake up there's like 10 more new pages with my name every day right yes yes and the newest thing is that I told you there was two people using their real names. They forgot to change it into Belema Abili, blah, blah, blah. Okay. But until today, I found three names. They are using their real names and they forgot to cover it up with any fake names. Don't worry. God is going to deal with them. Keep reporting them. It is well with you. Let Thank you, Roman of God. You. Put your hand on your head. Let me pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Lord, you, Jesus. Lord, focus. Take a deep breath and relax. Just to make sure you're okay because you went to a demonic zoo. So let's make sure you're fine. Say, Jesus, deliver me. Say it seven times, slowly. Jesus, deliver me. 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 Holy Ghost, fire. Fire all over your body. Don't say anything. Just, just focus. You can pray later, but for now, let me pray for you. Fire all over your body. Fire from your head to your toe. Buckets of fire, drums of fire. Everywhere in your body, your back, your chest, even your private parts, your everywhere, fire. Angels, pour 1,000 buckets of fire. Melt away everything that is not supposed to be there. Every demon hiding in you. Every evil spirit out in the name of Jesus. <sighs> more fire, more fire, more fire, more fire, more fire, more fire. Out of her, in Jesus' name, whatever they put in you, every evil deposit come out of her. Out 
out of her system. In the name of Jesus. Whatever they put on you, remove it all. Out! In the name of Jesus. Fire. 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 Even in that private area. Fire. 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 I rinse you with the blood of Jesus. More fire. Make that body uncomfortable. For any demon hiding, any demon tormenting her, more fire, more fire, more fire. Come out of her! In the name of Jesus. Now, angels, get that sword. You will chop off the head of every evil spirit hiding there. On the count of one, two, three. Chop off the head. Out of her. In the name of Jesus. Be free. In Jesus' name. How do you feel? My belly. What happened to you? Shaking. You can move your hand. What? You can remove your hand. You are free. I cannot hear you. Hello. I can hear you. You are free. Hello. I hear Jesus, you. please cover this internet connection. I hear you. I hear you. You are free. Jesus. It is well with you. You guys should be careful where you go. Or even if you go somewhere, if something is leave, don't force it because somebody is taking you there and you don't want to upset them because you are the one that will deal with the consequences that comes with it. So be careful when you go, where you go. All right, I need some more testimonies. Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Meli Asanwa. She says she had testimony. Oh, it's not even going through for you, sweetie. If you have a testimony, comment or request to be invited. God bless you. Let me see how many minutes I have. I'm going to leave soon because, you know, I have a 12-hour program tomorrow. So I want to rest. I want to relax. We've done three days dry fasting. I need to go recover myself because I'm still fast. We'll still fast again tomorrow for the program. So let's recover. Let's rest. Okay. Okay. Agra. Agra has one too. Agra, baby. Your name's on this platform. So funny. Uh huh. Somebody say, Woman of God. A name says, Woman of God. My senior citizen dad has a testimony. Okay, no problem. We'll get to your dad soon. Request to be invited. Patricia Patrice has a testimony. We have so many people that have testimonies. Okay, Agra, I just did it and it didn't go through. I'm going to try it one more time and then we'll go to the next person. All of you that have testimony, just request to be on the video. Because... Hello. Okay, it finally worked. How are you, sweetie? I'm good. How are you? Thank God. Late. Yeah, I'm all nervous. <laughs> it's good to be on your program. Hallelujah. You ready? Yeah, you ready? Inspire me. I'm all nervous. Well, let me get my testimony before. You are nervous. Before right. I say anything. Yeah. I am nervous. Hmm. I always afraid of it. I always afraid of men of God and women of God. I, I always afraid of them. I don't right. play around them too much. I don't know. <laughs> mm. Go ahead. But anyway, anyway, I took a surgery and I have been off work for a month. But then after two weeks after the surgery, I kept feeling pain on my legs. So I was wondering, I started telling all my friends, I said, I wonder the doctor did something to my foot. When I get up in the night, in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, I feel my foot I limping on my left foot. Mm. Yeah, right at my anger. So sometimes when I'm sleeping, I would get up in the night and be praying. I say, Lord, don't do this to me. 
I off work for a month and I have to go back to work. And then I'm limping. Oh my God. I can't wear heels to go nowhere. I always wear in flats. And then even when I sit, when I go out, when I sit for long, I have to lift my left legs up so it can be able to scratch. But I never knew what was going on with. And my sister then told me, go to the hospital. I said, man, I don't like to go to the hospital, but I really don't know what happening to me. It's strange. People telling me, oh, it's old age. I say, yeah, right. <laughs> so it was Tuesday night because, you know, I'm in California. So it was Tuesday night. It was around 1030. Your put your phone to the middle a little bit. This way? Move okay. away from the light. There's too much light. Okay. Oh, sorry. All right, that's better. Yeah. Okay, Tuesday night, because we're in California, so I just jump up. I said, oh, I forgot to go on the prayer line. And my first time doing three-day fast, which mm. was amazing. Oh, no. Yeah. And I said, oh, I forgot to go on the prayer line. Let me put my phone on. And then I got on the prayer line. But when I got on the prayer line, because I was between sleep and wake, so I was laying on my back. I was still feeling kind of weak, and you guys were praying, or back and forth. And then... I was laying on my back, and while laying, I just saw this. I, my eye was closed a little bit, but I think I was be, I know I was between sleep and wake because I could hear you praying, and then, you know. And then I just saw this fire on my foot, on my left foot. I said, Jesus. And then I turned on my side and took the water and wasted it on my foot. I said, if that the fire of Satan, I rebuke it. Mm. But as I knocked my foot with this uh, water, and then I just hang my foot on my right foot a little bit, and the water dry. And then I stopped, I stopped feeling pain. I said, wow. It just happened to me. Yeah. So you don't have the pain today? No more pain? I don't have, yeah, I really don't have, I don't have the pain. So now you can walk very well. You can go to walk. I can walk very well. I can stretch my foot too much. I can even bend my legs. Everything. I say, oh wow. Yeah, I was telling all my friends there. I say, no oh, even so, know. So, so, wait. so you were on the prayer line, and you say you were almost sleeping off, and then you saw fire was, appear on your yeah. leg, and you poured the yeah, water. Yeah, I was just between. Yeah, I was just between sleep and wake, on the prayer line. Ain't you no know, like when you're tired because, like I said. My first time um, doing three day fast, and I just came from surgery. So the surgery, I was not ready eating. You know, when I came from the surgery, so and then I jumped on the on the fast and prayer. So while I was laying down between sleep and wake, I just saw the I just saw the thing. Hallelujah! The fire just came straight. Yeah, just came straight down on my foot. I sent you message on Facebook. <laughs> I said, "Woman of God, you need to hear my testimony." <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So now you don't have to go do any medical thing on your leg. You are healed just like that. No. Yes. Hallelujah. I just felt it just like yeah, I just felt it just like that. That's why I mm -hmm. keep sending you message, sending you message. I say, God, she will answer this particular message. I won't leave her even after her program when she come online. I make sure she answer my message. I make sure I get my testimony. Hallelujah. So how do you feel now? Are you still nervous or you're okay? <laughs> I'm still nervous. I'm a bit nervous, but I'm okay. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like there's, some, there's a bad spirit in you? It is. I know. Yeah. <laughs> and then most of the time... Wait, wait, wait. wait. I know. You say you know <laughs> it is. Which one do you think it is? But I'm sure it is. I, I know it is from back home. And then something always happening to me too. Most of the time, you know, when I think I've been here a long time, a little bit, but when I think about going back home, I either go and I either see myself in war, you know, in different, different things. I say, if somebody's sending me back home, mm -mm -mm. okay, I'm not trying to put your hand on your head, put your hand on your forehead, like this, like this. Look at me. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Relax. Say, Jesus, deliver me. Say it seven times slowly. Jesus, deliver me. Jesus, deliver me. 
Jesus deliver me. Jesus deliver me. Jesus deliver me. Jesus deliver me. Jesus deliver me. How do you feel? I feel shaky. This time, say it again, but say it slowly, not as fast as before. <clears throat> Jesus, deliver me. 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 Just focus. Don't think of anything right now. Holy Ghost, fire all over your body. Fire from your head to your toe. That thing that is making you nervous. Fire on that thing. More fire. Buckets of fire. All over your body. Fire. Your head, your neck, your back, your stomach. Fire. You demon. Out of her! In the name of Jesus. Jesus name. Angel. Whatever that thing is, cut it off. On the count of three, get the sword. One, two, three. Chop off the head. Out of her. You are free in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Check yourself. Are you still nervous? I'm feeling a little bit, but I'm okay. Okay. You are free. God bless you. Thank you. More Thank you very much. Way. I soak you in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, God bless you. You know, I'm actually getting tired and sleeping. You know, we've not been sleeping well for the three days fasting. I'm thinking I need... I just got so tired and sleepy. And I have a program tomorrow. Make sure you guys share the flyer, my profile pic. Invite somebody. I'll come back. We've done how many hours? Two hours. Let me go and sleep a little bit. Let me eat something and sleep. Because tomorrow will be a long day. 12 hours program. Ooh, the ones that have testimony, don't worry. I'll call you guys. Um, I'll call you guys. What's it called? When I come back on the next video. But get water. Let me pray for water before I go for you guys. All of you, just get bottle water, cup water. Let me pray. So those that need healing. Those that need deliverance. Those that need restoration, favor, peace, job, breakthrough. Just get water, I'll pray, and you'll drink so I can release you to go. Watch the old videos. If you missed the fasting, any of the prayers for the fasting, you can connect, even the one that with these spiritual gifts. There were some powerful audios. Mm, just tired. It's not easy. <laughs> Get, a, get your water. Quick, quick, quick. Somebody play, please don't go yet. <laughs> you know, even if I spend 10 hours, there are still people that will not want me to go. But you have to listen to your body. Okay? All right. I want to pray, pray for the water. Open it if it's bottle. I'm praying for it. Now, if you miss this prayer for the water, when I end, you can go back forward to the part where the water is. Just believe, right? And it will, it will work for you. Father, I command everybody's water to turn into the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. Let it be for healing, for breakthrough, for restoration, for deliverance, for favor, for peace, for joy, for the spirit of God to dwell inside of them in the name of Jesus. I anoint it in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. I release the fire, the grace, the power, the anointing upon my life into the water. As you drink it, you shall be set free. As you drink it, your destinies will be restored. As you drink it, you will be filled with the Holy Ghost. As you drink it, you will be cleansed. You will be delivered. You will have peace of mind. You will be healed totally. You will be made whole in the name of Jesus. This is no longer ordinary water. It is now the blood of Jesus. Drink it in the name of Jesus. I hear drink and be restored in the name of Jesus. Drink it. I'm going to give you two minutes. To... <sighs> A lot of you will be yawning. Mm. When you drink it, you will start yawning. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, I have to yawn for you to yawn. 
<laughs> it's weird, but that's how it works sometimes. A lot of you will drink it and you start yawning, 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 yawning. For all of you that did the fasting, this is the last um, fasting meeting that we are meeting. This is the last prayer line. So you don't have to call into the prayer line after this one until we have another prayer section or fasting. Feel free to share the video. Even if you want the fast before you want to go back and listen to the audios, you can. God bless you. Make sure you read all those um, scriptures that I gave you. I think it was Romans 5, 1 Samuel chapter 1, 2, 3. And I think the key uh, scripture we had was Psalm 106 verse 4, I think. For the fast, oh Lord, remember me, right? And then I read other scriptures. If you listen to the audios, there were some messages that I preached. God bless you. Make sure you remain in Jesus so that you can achieve things in life. Don't do anything without him. If you want to produce fruit, remain in him so that he too can remain in you. So you can fulfill your destiny. Don't go back to sin. Don't go back to your old ways. Now that you are on fire for God, stay on fire for him. Stay saved. Because the devil is pissed off and if you go back to your old ways, he's coming with a full attack. This is not your portion in the name of Jesus. Now, if you haven't given your if you haven't given your offering for the fast, I will post the PayPal, the Cash App, and the Nigerian Bank account info. A lot of you have given yours. Some of you have not. If you are not led to, you don't have to. But when we fast, we do ask that you give an offering. It's just like going to church. After you get blessed, you go to the offering box and drop your offering. Just because this is online doesn't make it any different. It's the same thing. God bless all of you. May God surprise you with testimonies and miracles. I see a lot of people have testimonies today. So that's a good sign. I know the next time I come live, I won't be live tomorrow because we have the program at 9. The program starts at 9. I'll be live from when the program starts, 12 hours. And then on Saturday, I don't think I'll come live unless when I'm... Because I'm going to pray for people after the program on Saturday. I'll go back to the church. I'll see how my how I feel. But on Sunday, we'll be worshiping with Bishop at his church. And then after his service, I'll pray for people that came from out of town or people that want to see me one-on-one -on -one after the service. So this will be a busy weekend for me. So I may not come live or I may. I don't know. Just watch the old videos, okay? I love you guys. I see some of you are yawning, coughing. The water is working for you, eh? God bless you. I love you guys, all right? Bye-bye.